Dr. Kent Brantley catches Ebola, or whatever you want to call it. He comes back to the United States, okay, to be treated. Do not bring people that are known to have the virus back to the United States. Are you freaking idiots or what? Folks, this Dr. Kent Brantley has contracted the Ebola virus overseas, somewhere else in another country. And he allowed them to put him on a plane. He allowed somebody to put him on a plane to bring him back to Atlanta, Georgia. A very, very populated city. Full of people that are not infected. Duh! Don't do it. You catch Ebola, don't come back. Stay your ass where you came from. Stay your ass where you was. I do not care. What is the deal here? The, the, the main objective is to not spread the disease. So why bring your ass back here to where there's millions and billions of freaking whatever, how many ever thousands of millions and hundreds and whatever? It just don't make no sense. Stay your ass where you was, where the disease came from. Don't bring it to us because we do not want it. I guess we ought to get ready for a freaking Ebola or Ebola, uh, whatever you want to call the crap. Just get ready for a freaking great outspread because one of the doctors, his name's Kent Brantley, uh, Dr. Kent Brantley, uh, he was a, a doctor that was treating people with Ebo Ebola, Ebola. Ebola, I, I don't know what the hell you, how you say it. I'm a southerner, so I'm going to call it Ebola. Anyhow, he was using the precautions, all the equipment and stuff to protect himself. And he was, he was, you know, trying to help these people with it. He caught it. Okay. The precautions did not work. But now he's on a plane. Actually, he's already here. He got on a plane, a private plane. And he came to Atlanta, Georgia, in the United States of America. Knowing that the precautions that he took didn't work. So what if the precautions that the people transporting him and the precautions that the people in the hospital where he went don't work? And this spreads out throughout the United States, starting in Atlanta, Georgia. Bad decisions. I am very pissed off because these people have put my life in danger. And it pisses me off as an American of the United States of America. I should have had to be able to, I, I should have been able to vote. Okay, I should have been able to vote whether he was allowed back in the country or not carrying the Ebola virus because I would have said hell no do not bring him back treat him there okay if you got doctors that can treat him send them there send your special equipment and all that crap there do not bring him here send that I mean whatever whatever what a dumb fucking decision was made by whoever I do not know to bring him back here. Idiots.